Okay, so Emmanuel for the uh, RLDS overview. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. So um, a few words about the scientific program and the schedule overview of this reinforcement learning virtual school. Uh, first, a couple of technical details. As Sebastian mentioned, um, this is a fully virtual event, so obviously we won't be able to, to directly interact with each other, but we have done our best to try to, to foster interaction between participants and speakers. Um, and so I would like to remind you all that as soon as class material is available for any talk, we will post it on the websites, both the original website and the GitHub mirror. Um, depending on the speaker, uh, uh, class materials are of different natures. Some will actually use notebooks, some will use pre-recorded videos, some will interact with the attendees through polls or extra documents. Feel free to consult these documents in advance whenever they're available and, and to keep them open for yourself um, uh, when the class is actually running. The main way of interacting from the speaker towards the audience is generally through polls. Um, they can be either Zoom polls within the Zoom webinar or external tools that can be used at the discretion of the speakers. If in the audience you have questions that you want to ask the speaker, by default, please use the Zoom Q&A uh, really as a priority. Uh, if you have questions that can be answered by the teaching assistants, uh, they're very welcome to be posted in the matrix chats that are linked to each session. So those are the main uh, recommendations that we will probably repeat a couple of times throughout the, the virtual school. In terms of technical recommendations, so please keep an eye out on class pages for fresh material. Um, a lot of speakers will actually use Jupyter Notebooks as support for their, for their classes. So it's generally a good idea to install Python 3, 3 and Jupyter Notebook or to be able to open those notebooks um, on an online tool like Google Colab or an equivalent. Uh, we also recommend the use of the Open and Colab browser extensions. Um, and in general, interactions via the matrix server, the Zoom Q&A, and the polls. So these technical details being covered, um, I'd like to move a little more towards the um, scientific schedule and the global consistency, the logics behind the organization that we've put into this RLVS that we really hope will be beneficial to all of you. So first of all, we're really thrilled to have an, an awesome list of speakers and we're really thankful for them for accepting our, our, our invitation. And I will try to go through the six different days of the reinforcement learning virtual school to give you all an idea of why talks are grouped together, uh, what is the consistency between days and what is the logics inside each day. So today, March 25th, we have two main classes and the main topic of the day is really introducing uh, the key concept and basic notions behind everything else that we will actually cover during the virtual school. So today, the two main classes are about reinforcement learning fundamentals and an introduction to deep learning. We have two extra keynotes, one by Irina Rich from the University of Montreal about cognitive biases and the link with reward models and reinforcement learning. And the second one by Doina Precap, who's uh, the head of DeepMind at Montreal and a professor at McGill University, which is an introduction to hierarchical reinforcement learning. Then tomorrow, we will focus specifically on the problem of managing the exploration versus exploitation trade-off in reinforcement learning. The main class of the day will be given by Toral Atamore from DeepMind. Um, it's a rather long talk and uh, we're really looking forward to it. The keynote after that will be given by Donald Berry from the University of Texas about the application of, of bandit algorithms to clinical trials design. 
the third day, which is next Thursday, April 1st, um, is under the question of function approximation in reinforcement learning. And the key talk, the main class of the day is about deep neural networks as a function approximator in reinforcement learning. We'll be really happy to welcome Bilal Piot and uh, Corentin Talek from Vivine. Um, and they will talk about um, deep Q networks and their variants. We'll be really happy to welcome Mathieu Geist from Google Brain, uh, who will give a keynote as well on regularization in RL, which is a topic pretty much connected to the main class of the day. Third uh, day after, um, not counting the, the very first one, so April 2nd, next Friday, the main class of the day is given by Olivier Sigaud, uh, who is a professor at Sorbonne University. He will be talking mainly about the problem of uh, policy search, gradient-based policy search, and actor critic methods. Um, and my bad, I don't know why the, oh yeah, sorry, second class of the day will be given by Matteo Pirota, who is a researcher at Facebook AI Research about the connection between function approximation and exploration exploitation and deep reinforcement learning. So we had to wait until this fourth day of the summer school to have some consistency on this talk as well. Then on April the 8th, the key question that will be covered is looking for optimal policies through non-gradient methods. So Jean-Baptiste Mouret and Constantino, and sorry, and Dennis Wilson will talk about evolutionary reinforcement learning in the morning. And Jean-Baptiste Mouret and Constantinos Katsiri-Garoudis will talk about microdata policy search in the afternoon. Those two talks will actually be coupled with a specific keynote by Sebastian Risi on neuroevolution and a keynote by Dong Hui Li on applications to robotics. Finally, the last day of the reinforcement learning virtual school uh, will have its main program, its main class um, given by Antonin Rapin from the German Aerospace Lab on practical issues and practical reinforcement learning. And the two keynotes of the day will be given uh, by, <clears throat> sorry, by Marta Garnello from DeepMind about symbolic reinforcement learning and by Leslie Kaelding from MIT on model learning for extreme generalization. So obviously RL is a very vast field today and it's not possible to cover absolutely everything uh, right now, but we hope that this whole schedule appears consistent to you, that you can see the logics and the chaining between uh, classes and keynotes and we really hope that the whole program will actually benefit every, every one of you.